You don't know what I've been through. My baby. <laughs> Hold on, I was trying to do some Drake shit. What's going on, ladies? Ladies and gents. Mmm. Yeah, that ginger ale is hitting my guy. Anyway, comment down below what's your favorite soda, if you drink soda at all. It's not something that you should drink like every day. But it do be smacking. Um, but no cap. What we're about to be doing today, guys, is we're going to be sampling some fire stuff. Some stuff that I think is cool at least. We're gonna do that today. Um, I, I like to sample here and there because I feel like it offers you a chance. Shut up. I feel like it offers an opportunity to sort of like just, I don't know, be creative and, you know, switch up whatever it is that you may be doing. Okay, so this is what we're going to be sampling today. Alright, let's get started. So, <laughs> as a music composer slash theologist of music theory, I have come up with about four ways. I think it's four ways. Four ways to chop sample. Number one is chopping, and that's going to be through something like MIDI, you know, chopping on a drum pad or something like that, maybe using an uh, uh, MPC. Two would be just throwing a loop in and then just, you know, extracting a loop from a beat and just looping it. I would say that's two. Three, I would say is, um, uh, three is actually cutting up the loop, which is almost in, in a way, the same thing as chopping through NPC. However, in this case, you'll end up doing it through your DAW, but through something like just the playlist. And I think that's what we're gonna wind up doing today. Um, I'm looking to make something like an R&B beat. I hardly listened to the sample, but I just heard it for a brief second, and I just immediately knew what it was that I was trying to encapsulate. That's gonna happen a lot of times, guys. So if you got samples or anything like that, what I suggest you do is just, when you're looking through, you can find through a lot of stuff on YouTube. Like, they're just type in samples, and you'll find a chock full amount of things you can sample and chop. You're gonna watch me look through the sample and um, find a piece I like, and we're gonna loop it, maybe chop it up. Typically what you guys want to do is when you get your sample, look through, listen to as much as you can, and just look for sections you like and start up picking them. So I picked three sections right here. I think one right here, this is without the melody. And we're going to see how we play around with that. This is that female singing. She sounds hot. And this is the two of them singing. This is a, this is a guy too, male voice. Now let me see if this is on time. So I'm gonna just EQ it so as to get rid of the drums and just get as much of the vocal presence as possible. Let's get to adding some drums. Thank you. 
can fix that. We fix that. Don't worry about it. Just, just bear with me on that one. Alright, that 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 baseline needs to go. Here's what we're gonna do. Tip when you guys need a baseline and nothing is working in terms of trying to make one, is what you do. You go to your melody. So here's our melody right here. Alright. Clone that John and make it unique. Okay. Put it into a separate mixer track. So we'll put it in two. So we put it right, put in three, stupid ass. Put in two, here's what you're gonna do. Make sure you're, go to your, uh, that's not what I meant to do, hold on, hold on. Go to your actual main melody and EQ out the lows 100% as much as you can without destroying your melody. Now what you're gonna do is go to the one that you cloned, make sure track number two, right here, it's in there, and we're going to, solo out the bass frequencies i'm going to take the bass frequencies from that instead of trying to make our own melody that's looking slow listen closely now a signature tom perk type deal thing that i'd be seeing mad people using and it's this right here hold up it is yeah the conga bro it buses bro it works great for r&b beats so you gotta hear me play that in i'm gonna fix it up and clean it up too I think I'm gonna add an arcade. I'm feeling ambitious. Don't even know what damn key this song is in. But I got a general idea. Um, so what, what notes did we have? We had, I'm gonna have to go do key finder online. Give me a second. All right, we're looking at E major or F sharp major. And um, I'm gonna go to arcade. Pick a cool little vocal chop deal thing that I haven't used yet. Be cool and lying around somewhere. Vapor Choir. And let's try Falling Nights just in case. That's gonna be our fallback. Let's play this, John. See what we got. I'm gonna throw it in. Let's see if it sounds in key. This melody is halftime right now, so that's something cool we can do. We can actually make the uh, 
sample more, uh, what's the word? A dynamic, the beat. More dynamic. Frick, I can't speak. <laughs> That's kind of tight. That's kind of tight. Ooh, that's clean. That's clean. That's clean. That's clean. That's clean, You don't know what I've been through. My bitch. Oh, hold on, I was trying to do some Drake shit. Yeah, sauce in it. I just hop in the game, my sauce in it. Should have seen what I done did. Yo, I'm the fresh kid. Pull up to the spot. Everything is so hot. Niggas know me. I'm the best when I pull up. Who are you? Ain't nobody know you. I'm like, tell me none of the those who pumped on my toes. You, you pull up to the dosa, yeah. And you know my lini kosher, yeah. And you know my dopey kosher, yeah. You best fucking close up, yeah. Wanna picture, bitch, I got close ups, yeah. Feel like closer, ooh. And I pull up with the net roll, ooh. And I pull up in a blanco, yeah. And I pull up on a dome ho. Yeah, I got sauce, what you want, no Yeah, you want money and they want that Yeah, little bitch, I push your back Yeah, and I fuck it like a type back Yeah, bitch, can I get my type back? Yeah, nigga, can I get my flow back? I'm the illest in the game and he know that And I go hell of flow, bitch, you know that Let's mix and ladies John out. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the beater. That is the El Beto. Who's recording? Eh, it's recording. Cool. <laughs> okay, Amory. Okay, camera angle. Yep. Cool video. Cool chill video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. That. And um, thanks for watching. And um, cool chill little thing. I enjoy doing it. Rice and Taylor type beat. I don't know. Makes me think of like Drake. No guidance. I might have to speed this up a little bit. So don't be surprised if I speed up a little bit in the outro. But pretty simple. Intro with some gross beat. That's the halftime right there. And then over here, sort of like a pre-hook. Hook right here. Bass comes in. Um, the arcade comes out on the second half of the hook. A uh, little uh, verse beginning here. Bass comes back in, right? And then little bridge sort of, just nothingness. Literally repeats the whole thing again. And then after that, hold up, this playing some fire ass it's breezy right now. See breezy bro, he be bussing, no cap. And then right here, um, master uh, volume envelope. I had it so that it the beat just cuts out. It has like kind of, kind of a stylistic, stylistic effect as opposed to typically having it fade out you guys will hear that maybe anyway y'all it was a fun cook up uh challenging at first um just sort of getting things organized but i realized keep it simple and don't be afraid to just try something simple because sometimes simple works don't be afraid of being yourself and all that anyway y'all thanks for watching this video no cap have a good ass day whether it's day and night wherever you is i'm gonna see y'all later doses